Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday, happy Friday Eve to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. For whatever reason, I cannot see any comments this morning. I'm trying to find them on this other phone so that I can say you guys' names. I love saying your names in the morning. Let's see. Hey, Harvey Yolanda. Hey, Harvey Eva. Hey, Harvey Carol. And there they are. They're popping up for me. Hey, Heartbeat Nicole. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Again, happy Thursday. Happy Friday Eve. Hey, Heartbeat Lisa. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the gathering of hearts this morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is this. You've got a promise from God. You've got a promise from God. So hear me when I tell you that you are going to make it. I know that it's the end of the year and some of us have not seen the things that we have been believing God for. And it can tend to make you want to give up. Did I hear God? You know, maybe it's not for me. But I want to tell you on this morning, you've got a promise from God and that you will make it. And here's the, the real important part of this. The devil is a bald faced liar. That is who he is. He, the Bible says this, that he roams around like a roaring lion, trying to see whom he can devour. Like a roaring lion, which means he's a phony, which means he's an imitation, which means he's fake news. But you come from the tribe of the Lion of Judah, which means you are the real deal. Which means you can't quit. So stop listening to his lies. God still has time in this year to fulfill the word of God that he promised you. You've been given a promise by God. God does not go back on his word. In fact, he says that I'm watching it to perform it. And so what God has promised you, it can't be stopped by the liar. It just cannot. The only way it can be stopped by the liar is if you believe the lies that he tell. But we don't believe the lies of the enemy. And so you've got to know that God has promised you something and there's still time to fulfill it. John 8, 44, the easy reading version says this. He, meaning the devil, meaning Satan, meaning the liar, meaning the um, uninvited guest. He was always against the truth. There is no truth in him. He is like the lies he tells. Yes, he, the devil, is a liar. He is the father of lies. And so you cannot get caught up in listening to what the enemy has said to you. The enemy, like I have told you at the beginning, of this year. The enemy does not need to use anyone else against you. He's going to use you against you. So you cannot believe the lie just because you have not seen an answered prayer. There is still time for God to do what he's going to do in the end of this year. The um, Passion Translation says it like this. It says, so don't, it says lying is his native tongue. He is the master of deception and the father of lies. So you cannot believe what he's saying. So don't allow him to use your mistakes. Don't allow him to use your shortcomings. Don't allow him to use any of that against you. You still got a promise from God. Don't let him cause you to quit. Don't let him cause you to give up. Don't allow him to cause you to forfeit what you know God has already promised you. I'm going to say it like I've always said it. You are a... Um, Okay, you know, you have permission to yell, you have permission to scream, but what you do not have permission to do is give up in these last days of the year. God promised you something, it's still going to happen, you're still going to have a Merry Christmas, God is still going to wow you, you've got to be looking out for the falling blessings, and you've got to continue to know that it's going to be a spec while amazing end of the year. So do not give up, do 
not forfeit the promises of God. Amen. That's the daily dosage for today. You've got a promise from God. Don't believe the lies and don't believe the lies that come from the enemy. Do not believe the lie. He is a liar. Everything that he says is a lie. There is no truth in him. And so when you are hearing something that is going against the word of God, you know what to do. you got to cast that thing down that's coming up against the knowledge and the power of God and know that God is a promise keeper and you've got a promise from God. And so you are focusing on the promise. You are not looking at the problem. You've got a promise from God. God never goes back on his word. He is not a man that will lie. He is not a man that is going to change his mind. If he told you that he was going to do it, he's going to do it. He said he would. And that right there alone will preach. He said he would come through for you. He said he would answer your prayers. He said he would heal your body. He said he would never leave you nor forsake you. He said he would. And you've got a promise from God. Hang in there. Don't give up. Keep believing God for what he promised you. There's still time to do it. And I'm telling you, when it's taking this long, that thing is going to wow you. That thing is going to make you fall to your knees and give him praise. Every tear that comes out of your eye um, on that day, tears of joy, tears of excitement, tears of gratefulness, tears of thankfulness, it is all going to be worth it. So just wait on the Lord while you wait, praise him, while you wait, worship, while you wait, allow him to grow you up and mature you in all things. But you've got a promise from God and God will deliver. Last closing, that's your daily dosage. You've got a promise from God. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms, God Wants Me Whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Let's say it together. Come on, say, God Wants Me Whole, and I am getting whole by the minute. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the birth of Jesus. Let's celebrate him because he is worthy. Glory to God of our praise. No one can compare to him. No one comes next to him. He has no rivals. He has no equals. He is just all of that glory to God in the highest form. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas again. I will see you guys back here on Tuesday morning. I love you. I love you. I love you again. Merry Christmas. Hug someone and keep people in prayer for those people that the holiday days may not be the happiest of days. Know that God loves you. I love you. And for me, hug yourself real tight. That's from me and that's from Jesus. We both love you. Again, spec while amazing day to you. Have a great day. Look out for falling blessings and Merry Christmas. I'll see you guys Tuesday morning. I love you a bunch.